everybody, what's going on? It's your favorite YouTube commentator, Syracuse. So, first of all, I'd like to say, yeah, I look pretty fucking sweet today. I had a job interview, so I apologize for my sexiness. Anyways, right now I'm up to, I think, like 19 or 20 likes on my last video. Make sure you guys go like that, and I will be going outside either today or tomorrow to do those push-ups and put it on my channel. And I'll tell you what, 20 push-ups, I'm in good shape. I'm in very good shape, but I'll tell you what, man, I haven't done push-ups, and I can't even tell you how long, so this is going to be some funny-ass shit. So make sure you guys go like it, go tell your friends to like it, go tell your moms to like it, it don't matter, just make me do those push-ups, man. Last video, anyways, I wanted to do a, uh, told you guys to be doing a Q&A with you guys, told you guys to send me your questions, uh, I did get a lot of questions, actually, a lot of questions. So what I did is I'm going to separate it into two parts. One part I'm going to do gaming questions. Second part I'm going to do uh, like personal questions. So today I'm going to do the uh, the uh, gaming questions. Also, video playing in the background. That's a uh, domination I believe from the other day using a PP90 silence. I was messing around on seven sensitivity. Usually I play on three. So yeah, crazy. So let me start it off with uh, how I got into gaming. That was the first question. Let's see, back in... Wow. 2006, 2007. Uh, when my girlfriend at the time got pregnant, I was like, oh, bars are done. I had to change my whole lifestyle because I was going to be a dad. So uh, I went out, bought an Xbox, said, oh, I bought Rainbow Six Vegas and Madden. And I said, oh, I'll just chill out, you know, at night. Instead of going out to the bars with my boys, Stay home, do the grown up thing. And I never knew about online play. My buddy's like, oh, yo, yo, you got Rainbow Six, you gotta try the online play. So I did that, and I was like, wow, this is fucking awesome. Rainbow Six Vegas, the first one. So that's how I got hooked into it. I ended up meeting some uh, really cool dudes, Crack a Man and Snake in the Grass, friends for life, because those are my first two Xbox friends, and I'm still friends with both of them today. Uh, what was the first video game I ever played on Xbox? Like I was saying, it was Rainbow Six and Madden. The first video game I ever played. Oh my god. Jeez, I... I couldn't even tell you. Like, maybe the Nintendo. The first Nintendo, the Mario Brothers. I went over to my uncle's house. I was a little boy. And, uh, he just bought it for Christmas. When it just came out, I played Mario and Double Dribble. And I was hooked, man. If you guys never played those, go download them on the Wii. They're still downloadable. Double dribble. Oh my god. You want to talk about old? My gamer tag, how I got Syracuse. Wow, well. Uh, how do I explain this? When I was a young kid, I was playing uh, youth hoop and stuff. My name of my team is Orange Man. And I never knew what Orange Man was, so I asked somebody, like, yeah, Syracuse University. They're, they're called the Orange Man. So I'm like, really? So I went home. And they were on TV. I watched them. That was the year. I had Derek Coleman, Sherman Douglas, Ronnie Cycli. I can't even tell you who else. Like, old, old, old. And I fell in love with them. And I just, ever since then, I've been a diehard Syracuse fan. I love Syracuse, man. I fucking bleed orange. I, like, I love the fucking Syracuse Orange. It's my favorite team of all time. Any sport, you name it. So, I originally had Syracuse. And I switched my gamer tag for my clan. Somebody stole it. Then I had it with two E's, and I went back to it. I changed it again for my clan. Stole it. So that's why I'm on four E's now. And I'm never, ever fucking changing that shit again. So hopefully it stays like that. Nobody can steal my game attack. Biggest accomplishment as a gamer. Wow. Got a few. But I would say my greatest of all time was... Uh, actually, four, I don't know. I was number one on COD 4 my team. I was a leader, but we weren't like boys like I was with my World at War team. My World at War team, you got any of you guys, I still keep in contact with like two or three of them. You guys are my boys for life. Probably my favorite team of all time. We all got along. And uh, I'll tell you what, man. Every day that I play, that I used to play game battles after this, man, I missed it. It was, we had a really good team. Cool dudes. We never left. We stuck together. We were like bros for life. And I guarantee anybody that's on that team, they probably feel the same way, man. We're, we're a pretty a tight-knit team, friends, you name it, man. But it was awesome. We're ranked number one. 
our, uh, our competition back then was CCP Clean Cleaning Products. Those guys were fucking awesome as shit, man. They were cool dudes, too. I mean, we had our epic, you know, trash talking shit. But all in all, they, they were cool ass dudes. If you, one of the dudes actually runs Death Wish now, if you guys follow competitive now. The guy that runs uh, Death Wish, uh, Burns, he was on the team. They were they were really good back then. Obviously, they, they're still good now. What sensitivity do you play on? When I play, see, there's a difference now. When you play competitive, personally, I think you should be at a low sensitivity because every, like, if you miss one bullet, it's enough to get you killed. So personally, when I play competitive, I like three. I know a lot of people play three. When I'm playing pubs, I like that play on a higher sensitivity. It's just a different, it's a different style, man. It's just a different style. And you're playing against uh, people that aren't as skilled as you, so I like a little higher. But I think three is the ultimate. Like, you want to be a badass gamer, I think three or four is probably perfect. I know people play it too, and everybody's different. But personally, three or four, but I think three is the best. My favorite game ever. Oh, wow. Once again, I'm going to have to go all that war, man, because when people played that game, there was it wasn't a lot of bullshit back then. You like you played pubs and there was nothing to complain about. You could not complain about playing pubs in that game because there was just nothing. Like now you got noob tubes, motion sensor. Like you don't need a fucking motion sensor in a video game, man. What's what's the point? You know, there's just too much shit into the games now. They threw in like 89 fucking perks, 90 kill streaks. World at War with like. I wish it wasn't as mod the lobbies weren't as mod as man, because I'll tell you what, it's a great fucking game, and it still is. If we can get into the games where it's not mod. Uh, how can I improve as a competitive gamer? The best thing I'm going to tell you is scrim and practice. <clears throat> you go on the game battle section, and in the battles, you will see battles, you post up for a scrim. Practice, 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 practice. Don't play pubs. Pubs are not going to get you better as a team. The only thing Pubs is going to do is, you know, if you're trying to warm up, get your shot on for that day. But if you want to prove as a competitive gamer, you got to practice, practice, practice. It's like anything else you do in life. You want to be a Major League Baseball player? You want to be a Major League Baseball player? You're not going to go down and just fucking, you know, you're going to you're gonna practice doing the things that a Major League Baseball player. You're going to go to the batting cage, hit, you know, you know, fastballs as, you know, as fast as they will come, curve. You know, you do the things that it takes to be, to get improved. Like, if you want to get better at something, anything in life, you need to practice it. Just like my YouTuber, man. I'm still here, you know. You look at my first YouTube. It's not on here. Not on, it was on my older channel. But even on here, man. You look at my first video I did. I was, it's, this is ten times better than when I, you know, it took time. Man. It takes, the more you do it, the more practice, you, you're going to keep improving, man. You watch any of these commentators on YouTube, you go watch their channel, watch the first video they did, and then you... Look at this fucking fly, man. I live in the fucking Amazon. The, uh... <laughs> Sorry, I lost my train of thought. But you gotta practice, man. That's all I'm gonna tell you is practice, practice, practice. If you got... If you get on a team your teammates don't wanna practice, get rid of them. Get rid of them. And you have two choices. You either gonna wanna play with your friends, and you're probably not gonna be good, because most people, you know, you're not in the same playing field as your really close friends. Or you get a good team together and you find people you get along with and have the same common goal as you, man. And you gotta stick to it. There's too many people that get angry over a video. This is a video game. It's supposed to be fun, man. If you're not having fun, don't do what you're doing. I wasn't having fun being a competitive gamer. I wasn't. I met some awesome fucking people. Don't get me wrong. Awesome, awesome fucking people. But you know what? In the long run... You know, I'm starting new jobs and stuff like that. Summer's coming up. I want to have fun. Securing you know? I'm a fucking... I'm a grown adult, man. I got my own house, my own car, everything. I want to have fun. I don't want to spend 29 hours on a fucking Xbox, you know, for, you know, practicing for... It just, you know, so this is why I went back to pubs a little bit. You know, enjoying my life. It's what I want to do. And that's what I'm going to do. You, know? you guys got to do what's good for you and what makes you happy. What do I enjoy the most about gaming? What do I enjoy the most about gaming? It's very easy. Two things. Meeting awesome, chill people. And, uh... There's something else I want to say. I totally just fucking knocked out, man. Meeting cool-ass people and, uh... Helping people, man. I love helping people, man. 
If I can help anybody, anybody, I'm, you know, I'll do it, man. I'm that type of person. I don't, I put everybody before me. You know, if I can help somebody that's having a hard time, or even just give them a tip, anything, man, I will always do it, guys. If you guys ever need anything, you know, don't ask, come asking me for money and shit like that. But, you know, if you're close friends, there's no doubt I would give money to. But if you ever need anything, hit me up with a message, a DM, or Twitter, you name it, man. I will do whatever I can to help you as soon as I get a free minute. But I am a busy man. What I hate most? Oh, very simple. The fucking assholes on Xbox. People that talk shit. Don't get me wrong, I talk shit, but most of the time my shit's muted. Enemy care package incoming. So, I gotta speed this up. The video's coming to a close. And the hardest part about being a gamer? Very simple. Balancing your, your time on Xbox with your normal life. That is the hardest thing anybody will tell you. I guarantee it. Balance, balance, balance. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little Q&A. Uh, tune in for part two. I don't know when we'll be coming up sometime soon. We'll, uh, we'll read the questions regarding, like, you know, favorite food, shit like that. All the other stuff that people ask me, alright? So I hope you guys like my new YouTube. And, uh, like my outfit. Because I am one sexy motherfucker. Look at these sideburns. Look at that shit. Where else are you going to fucking get sideburns like that, friends? Get you guys later. Peace! Ready for launch. Repeat. Predator missile ready for launch. All positions locked down. Hold your positions. Chopper standing by. Losing Charlie. Helicopter ready for deployment. Repeat. Helicopter ready. Friendly hind inbound. Care package on the way. We lost Charlie. Friendly Predator missile inbound. The battle is lost, but the war has just begun.